What I want to do today is connect our Gmail and Google Sheets apps so that whenever a new email is sent to our inbox in Gmail, a new spreadsheet row will automatically be created in our Google Sheets app. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I'll need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Gmail to trigger the creation of a new row in Google Sheets, I'll need to use Gmail as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Email as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime we receive a new email in Gmail, Zapier is going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Gmail, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Click Continue and then we'll need to set up our trigger apps data. I'll click the mailbox I want to use for my Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. For my Google spreadsheet, I want to upload the date I received the email, but not the time. Because of this, I'll need to format my spreadsheet with the Format tool. I can find the Format tool by clicking the bottom button on the right side of the screen. For my event, I should click Date Time and click Continue. Next, under Transform, I'll click Format on the drop-down menu. Under Input, I'll click Date, and then under To Format, I'll click the format I want my date to be listed under, and then I'll click Continue. Click Test and Continue, and then we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button at the bottom of the page to pull up a second action screen, and then type in Google Sheets in the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Create Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate the Sheets app via my Google account with Zapier, just like I did with my Gmail. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier has got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, click the drive where your spreadsheet is located. I'm going to click My Google Drive. Next, click the spreadsheet you would like your data to be uploaded to. I'll click Zapier Emails. Last, click the worksheet you would like your data to be uploaded to. I'll click Sheet 1. Once I fill out this data, the headers for my spreadsheet rows will appear. I'll fill them out accordingly. Under Sender, I'm going to click From Name. For the subject, I'll click Subject. Under the Output, I'll click Output under the Date Format tool, and under Link to Email, I'll click Body HTML URL, which will direct me to any websites listed in the body of the email. Next, click Test and Review, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we receive a new email on our selected Gmail account, a new row will automatically be created on our selected Google spreadsheet. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.